back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. What's up full time family? It's your boy Big Full Time aka Taco Bell Wanted and we're coming off of that Jason Knight video and for some reason I kind of like the accent we did that there video in. So we're going to continue it for one more video because also maybe it will attract some people that got some money that can donate <laughs> if you know what I'm saying because your boy needs it right now. But with that being said we're going to keep pushing we're going to keep grinding and whatever happens happens because it is what it is. But if you can afford to, make sure you hit that PayPal button for your boy Big Full Time. Much appreciated. But with that being said, let's get into CR by Her Derzada. That's a hard name to say, but we're going to say it anyway. He continues to go after Nate Diaz on social media, as a lot of people have. Nate Diaz is a target out here. Nate Diaz is a victim in these streets. Nate Diaz is a huge name um, in the MMA world right now. He's a money fight, so there's a lot of fighters that need money, like me. So they're calling out Nate Diaz. Hey, Nate Diaz, if you want to do a celebrity boxing fight, I know you're the only celebrity, but all I'm saying is I'm in. You can come kick my ass. Just give me about 10 Ten thousand bucks, and we'll be call it even. Oh shit, I do it for five. Nigga, really need it right now. If you know what I'm talking about. But either way, let's get into this call out by Cr Baharzada. And if you don't know who Cr Baharzada is, he's a fighter that just got a big win actually recently in the UFC. And I actually oh, I almost broke my accent, Mackenzie Dern style. Sorry about that. But what I was saying was. Uh, Sierra Bahar Zada actually has a lot of fan support over in Afghanistan, I believe, as when he fought at, I believe, UFC 219. I did the video on the results, and holy shit, the fan support he got after getting that win, I was almost enthralled by, like, all of his fans swarmed the video with emojis and happiness, and yes, the great Bahar Zada. I'm telling you, this guy's got some legitimate fans in the UFC behind him, so... Um, it's not actually just a no-name guy. Nate Diaz could win over his fans potentially if he was able to beat Sayar Bahadur Zada. But with that being said, I don't think he's going to get the fight. Hell, Nate Diaz is looking at potential fights with George St. Pierre at UFC 227. So I don't think he's going to be looking at Sayar Bahadur Zada. But Nate Diaz also could be looking at a potential Conor McGregor fight. So this is a little bit of a pipe dream by my boy CR. But it is what it is. I mean... You can shoot for the moons even if you miss you land amongst the stars, right? This is what CR had to say on Instagram. The, uh, he said, hey, Nate Diaz, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Stop hiding behind your mama. Don't come make me come to Stockton and find you and what Tani slap you. What's the reason you don't accept the fight other than being terrified to get knocked out? It's because you're a bigger name. Do you remember how much you made before you fought Conor McGregor? It was 15 and 15. You always like the real fight, so step up and fight if the money hasn't cut off your manhood. Holy shit, he said the money cut off Nate Diaz's cock. Whoa, he said he's taking it low blow, literally. And he said, hey, he's got a good point. I must say he's got a good point when he says, you remember, brother, before you fought Conor McGregor, you were making the same amount of money as us. So how about you give us some of the same opportunity that the Conor McGregor gave you, huh? But even if that was the case, I don't think this would be the gentleman getting that opportunity. It might be a guy like Clay Guida or one of these other fighters that have been really egging on Nate Diaz. Possibly a Tony Ferguson. I mean, they're just, God darn, I could go on the list and list of fighters that have been disrespected Nate Diaz to get a fight. It's almost unreasonable. Every single guy in the top five, it feel like, has said that they would stop and slap Nate Diaz, told him, don't be scared, homie. Holy smokes, it's getting bad out here on these streets. But with that being said, Sayar Bahadur Zada actually also said this to Nate Diaz. Hey, Nate, you keep saying you're a real fighter and you act like a gangster from Stockton, but if you really are gangster, Let's fight at UFC 227 in your backyard. You can bring Nick to walk you down the aisle and give your hand to me. Oh, schmoes. This is one of those situations where Nate Diaz probably is not going to respond. I do not advise it because people are just going to say, hey, instead of all this Twitter talk, how about you get into the octagon? And Nate Diaz just doesn't seem to be getting into that octagon anytime soon, unfortunately for us UFC fans. So with that being said, I'm about done talking in this accent for this video. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. 
And by the way, if you share the same accent in me and you got a little bit of cash just straggling, you know what I'm saying? Feel free to hit that PayPal. $1 helps, $2 helps. Help support your boy Big Full Time in a time of need. But if not, don't worry. It is what it is. You know we're going to get this shit figured out and keep rolling like always. Let the Full Time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. And as always, thanks for checking out this video. If you want to join the notification gang, make sure you hit subscribe and also hit the bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you want to help this channel reach its full potential, consider hitting the PayPal link in the description or going to patreon.com slash fulltime MMA and becoming a patron. I'm out. This is number one bullshit. <laughs>